Hello everyone, welcome to next lesson of our Spring Security course. So in this lesson, I am going to talk about the success handlers, which provides a very unique and interesting feature uh, in your Spring Security application. All right. Okay. So in this lesson, I am going to talk about a couple of different things. So, uh, so I am definitely going to talk about what are the success handlers. Uh, some of the real life use cases of the success handlers and where you can use those while building your application. I'm also going to talk about how to create a custom success handlers uh, and how to configure it. Uh, there are already few out of the box success handlers uh, exist, but there is, you have the flexibility to create a custom success handlers altogether. All right. The first thing is, what are the success handlers? So the success handlers are a post authentication strategies where Spring Security provides you an options to uh, do some kind of a post authentication work without the, uh, before the uh, before the uh, you hand over the control to the customer. So one of those things is let's say you are already uh, you provide your username and password. You are logged in. Now you want to do some additional things before you uh, redirect user to a landing page, right? So you can do all sort of things into a success handler. Uh, few of the use cases of a, or a real life use cases of success handlers are, and one of them is the most co common is, you want to redirect customer to a different page based upon their profile or based upon their authorities. Uh, so for example, in your application, for a normal user, you want to redirect them to us home page but if it's an admin customer you want to redirect them to a admin management section uh, to achieve this functionality success handlers are the perfect place to do that uh, and the way it works is after the authentication spring security will hand over the control to these post authentication strategies one of them is a success handler and you basically do your own logic to determine what kind of a customer it is and then you use the redirection to redirect to a different page. Another application that's very common into the e-commerce uh, uh, ecosystem is once you log in, you want to restore the customer shopping cart. So let's say you added few items to your shopping cart and then you decided I don't want to buy something. Next time you log into the cust uh, into your uh, profile, if you have ever noticed, your cart is still there. And in order to restore that card, one of the one of the common way is to do into your uh, success handlers. You are already uh, you already logged in, and then you can basically restore the card by fetching all the required information from the profile and uh, kind of a setting it up, right? Uh, so those are the two things. Uh, before we get into creating a custom success handlers and all sort of things, we want to cover two more additional things. One, there are already a success handlers uh, configured by Spring Security for us, and that is a saved request aware authentication success handler. Uh, what it does is, uh, so it basically uh, it basically try to redirect you to the uh, to a specific page and the way it works is uh, let's say you basically want to go to a secure page and you are not logged in so spring security will intercept your request uh, it say hey you have to log in but what it does it uh, before uh, during the interception it also saves your current request and response once authentication is successful it fetch that saved request and response determine where the user should be redirected because it keeps that that initial request will have the target you are where you were trying to go and then it basically try to redirect you to a uh, to that page all right okay so another thing is uh, if you remember in our login example uh, when we were talking about the spring security login we use this default success url so this url determines that after a successful login where should we redirect user in our case we are redirecting user to a home page right account home page but have you ever thought how spring security is handling all of those things like right there should be some way where after the login, uh, it basically use this information to redirect a user to this page. 
and to to your surprise the success handler or the default success handlers that is put in place by spring security do that work for you all right so let's see something in action before uh, we get into a more technical detail so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a debugger into our abstract authentication processing filter and this filter is called uh, basically once the successful authentication is done and where i am interested is in the success handler right and we will see what are the different configurations that are available into our success handler on my login page i have filled my username and password let's click on sign in and i'm onto this abstract authentication success filter sorry processing filter and i'm already as part of the successful authentication so that means my authentication is done spring security has determined that i'm a valid user i have the valid authentication and the authorizations right uh, and if you don't know how it works go back to the uh, previous lesson where we have talked about how the authentications or the login works within the spring security now the the interesting thing which i just want to tell you is this success handler and if you see this is a saved request aware authentication success handler and we have not configured anything as part of our login process all we have done is this default success url right so this is the handler which is configured automatically uh, for you by spring security and what it does is if you see the default default target url right that is the url which has been taken from this configuration so what is going to happen now is since the authentication is successful now the default success handler is going to redirect me to a this page default target url page okay and if i get here this is the saved request aware authentication success handler and now it does uh this is what i was talking about uh it basically get the request and response uh, response from the request cache i will be talking about uh, that in later chapter but the whole idea here is it basically finally redirect the customers to a target url and in our case the target url is going to be uh, the one which we have seen in our success handler which is the account slash home all right so as we have seen with a minimal configuration uh, there is already some sort of a functionality which is put in place by spring security uh, right all right so now we know the basics about success handlers and what kind of a functionalities or features that those can put in place right so let's see how to create a custom success handler so i'm going to create let's say handler okay okay so before we start working into a custom success handlers there are a couple of things which you should uh, understand or which you should have the clarity uh, the first of them is what kind of a success handlers you want to create for example if it's just a simple functionality where you want to redirect customer to a specific page uh, based upon your profile right uh, so more or less you want to extend the out of the box success handlers and uh, do your custom logic on top of it right you still want to use uh, some of the functionalities and configurations those are available within the uh, default success handler for example this saved authentication uh, success handler right so that's a one decision let's say you want to build entirely a different kind of a success handler and you want to do something different than what these out of the box handlers are doing so all you have to do is you have to use this authentication success handler interface so you have to implement this authentication success handler and it provides two methods right on success authentication uh, the, there are two variations uh, one variation only takes three parameters uh, which is basically a request response and authentication object second also takes into account uh, the uh, your filter chain right so it's on to you 
this is a default implementation so you can basically uh, skip it uh, you should be good to go and you have to make sure that you provide an implementation for this uh, method so it's entirely to you what is your requirement and what kind of a filters or what kind of a logic you want to put in place so you should be very clear on that one for this tutorial i'm going to create a basically i'm going to put a functionality where i want to redirect customer to a different page based upon their profile so all i have to do is because i still want to leverage some of the functionalities or uh, configurations those are available with out of the box success handlers i'm going to extend the uh, saved request aware authentication success handler okay so this is our uh, skeleton for that one right so what i'm going to do is i have already written a method here which is admin authority and i'm doing nothing but within the, from the authentication object i am trying to find out the authority and see if it's an contains a role as an admin right so the first condition i am going to say is if uh, let's say is admin authority and what i am going to uh, pass to this one is an our authentication object okay if it's an authentic if it's an admin authority uh, let's do one thing um, target url i'm going to set this as home slash admin okay so assume that this is the admin login page okay and finally i'm going to do some uh, uh, some of the work which is required one of them is clearing your authentication attributes uh, so for this one I'm going to pass request these are the standard mechanism but the whole idea is I am checking here in this custom authentication provider right my whole concept is if it's an admin user I want to redirect this user to a different page but if it's an customer it's a normal customer I still want to continue using the default configuration so what I'm doing in my custom authentication handler uh, and it's extending this save request which is already doing some of the work for me uh, I'm checking if the user authenticated user is a admin if yes I'm setting a different target URL doing some standard work these are the we will talk about these when we are going to talk about authentication uh, in more details and then I'm going to use the redirect strategy and remember because I'm using the saved request aware authentication success handler i am getting all these different things right and then i'm going to send a redirect okay so this redirect requires a request http response and what should be the target url all right and let's say if this is not the case what should i do i'm going to call the else statement okay and in my else statement, I can always call the super dot authentication success handler. Okay. And I'm, I can always pass request response and authentication object. Okay. So what I'm doing here is uh, since for normal customer my saved request aware authentication success handlers already take care of where to redirect customers right uh, but for admin it, it don't know what, what what should be the logic that should be we should put in place right so i am handling that part here and for the next one uh, i am letting the super class to take the rest of the things for us right so this is our success handler so we have created the class to do a success handler now we have to tell spring security that hey uh, use my custom success handlers uh, so that uh, we can basically inject or hook our logic in this one to do that i just have to provide a beam right so what i'm going to do is public public I'm going to define the bean. I have defined my bean. So the next thing I will go to my login configuration. Okay. And within the login configuration, I'm going to set the success handler. Okay. 
so if you see this one method it takes a authentication success handler right and this is an interface correct and we have implemented we basically we have extended one of the uh, subclass uh, which is already implementing this one okay so within this one i'm going to call my success handler all right so with this one uh, the entire end-to-end -end configuration is in place. So what we have done, we created a success handler, custom success handler. We defined the success handler being here. And then in our login form, we have basically injected that success handler. Now, what is going to happen? Two things. We are already setting some of the default success URL here, right? We have injected our success handler. So on successful authentication, Spring Security will going to call our handler. And then within our handler, we are doing two things. So we are basically checking if it's an admin user, okay? Redirect user to a specific page, else let the out of the box success handler to take the uh, work for us. Let's do one thing. Let's start our application and then see uh, how this entire end to end workflow is uh, getting into a picture. All right. So my application got started. I'm on login page. I'm going to click on sign in. Okay. Now, again, I'm on to this success handler. That is the abstract uh, authentication processing filter, right? Which we saw earlier. Now we have a success handler. The only thing is in this success handler, if you remember earlier, it was out of the box success handler. Now, since we tell Spring Security that use our own success handler, the custom success handler is injected and used by Spring Security, right? And I have put a debugger in this point. If I run here, the control will be with you. Now. I have an authentication object. This authentication object have a different authority right now. It got an user authority, correct? So this condition will be false. Okay, and it will go to the uh, the to the super class, which is our safe request authentication success handler. All right. So that's give you an idea about what are the success handlers. And again, it's a very powerful mechanism. Uh, you can do different kind of a things into your success handlers. And the interesting thing is, or uh, the thing which you should be uh, paying attention is, once you are into your handler, you have the access to the request, you have the request to a response, and you have an access to the fully or the authentication object, which contains all the information about the authenticated user. So you can run all sort of a different uh, logics for example uh, who is the user based upon that one you can get all the user details you can get all the related information and uh, you can run all different kind of a logic uh, uh, on on the success handlers you can call your different services your facades and all sort of a things right and another thing which you should keep in mind that this is at this point we have not given any kind of a landing page or any kind of a things to the customer. You still have a control. You can manipulate those uh, controls and you, you can do all sort of a different things. In next lesson, I am going to talk about the other part of the handlers, which is the failure handlers. Those work very closely to how the success handlers works. The only difference is the failure handlers are triggered when your authentication failed. So you provided your username and password and those are not correct one. So Spring Security will basically uh, give you uh, or it will basically say, oh, hey, you are not authenticated. But at the same time, it provides you an option to do any kind of uh, additional logic uh, on a failed request. For example, you want to uh, give them a different kind of a message or if they, you want to clean up some additional things which you might be setting before your login process start. So you also have a control in case authentication is failed. I hope you like this uh, tutorial and uh, if you're liking my uh, series on a Spring Security, please don't forget to share uh, these tutorials with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.